Hello, this is Takamasak. Welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Lots to go through today. Primarily just the Sky Garden, but there's actually a lot of action. How about that? We have those little ball worm guys that you might kind of recognize from Soul Blazer. They were in Dr. Leo's lab, and they can jump the platforms. Pretty sure those guys can. There weren't any there for them to jump, but... And then we also have the golem guys right here, which will just shoot random directions with their laser. And then once you hit them, they'll shoot their arms at you, which can be blocked. And just like the... Uh, what was it? Like the eyeball guys that we killed in the diamond mine. You can't actually block the laser, so just keep that in mind if you see it facing your direction. Just try to get out of the way. And here we get a red jewel. Outstanding. And these guys will blow up, and it looks like it can take damage, but actually you can't. And my preferred way to deal with golems, if you're... Oh, that didn't work out well at all. If they're by themselves, it's more convenient just to use Psycho Dash, especially if you've got a little ways to walk. If you're close enough, you'll hit them twice for 18 damage and take them out. Excuse me. Now the cool thing about this place is you can jump off the front side and onto the back side which actually increases in difficulty a little bit. These guys have more HP, more defense, and as you can see, once they shoot their arms, they'll come back to you. And if you block them, they just go straight back anyway, whereas the blue golem will just... Whoa, holy crap. Yeah, the blue golem's hands just shoot off into the distance. And these guys also get a little bit of speed, and this happens. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? Jesus. Whoa. But yeah, the first one of those balls will always come down right where you killed him, so do pay a little bit of attention to that if you can. Ah, short little area here. Not ideal for fighting a lot of wall-jumping enemies. Go away. No. If you look really closely, you can actually see where those balls are going to come down and land, but typically I'm moving around so quickly that I don't even notice it to begin with. It's up to you. If you want to take it a little slower, feel free. And whenever you see these fireball guys, typically the corners are a safe spot to stand. I don't think... Ow. Not, not always. I don't think it's 100% safe like you saw it hit there. But most of the time, you're not going to get damaged. And this just loops back around to the front where we just came in. Excuse me, buddy. Hey. How dare you survive my psycho dash? Am I not psycho enough for you? What if I hit you with the red hot stick? Oh, oh, that's another game. Alright, hop over here. We can get some treasure. An herb. And more importantly, this guy. Who needs to die? I don't like it when they hold forces. The force is strong with this? No. No, it's not. And I think there's two more guys, okay? Excuse me. Yeah, these guys are much ah, harder to hit with the Psycho Dash, too. Yeah, and if you haven't really ever noticed, take a look at the explosion there for this... Just that uh, middle one. It's got an eyes and nose and a mouth, so it's pretty cool looking. I think it's technically even got an ear over there, so... Just an interesting little thing to show off about the game. Jump back to the front side! There should be one more ball worm, whatever the hell you want to call these. And we'll get some HP! Hooray! Well, these guys are a little weird. Their swords will kind of come to life once you... Once you get near them, they'll flash like that, give you a little warning. And once you get rid of their swords, you can use your telekinesis to move those around, so... With him, it does nothing. You could have got the chest by leaving him alone, so... And we got the Bristol Call. Fantastic. Absolutely do not throw it in the fall water. What do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? Best go play some Dragon Quest. How about that? I haven't played 9 yet. I was wonder if 9 is any good. I don't really want to buy a whole new system to go play it, though. It's my only issue. And I like how they paid enough attention here to... If you're on the top side of the garden, it's actually, you know, blow you down to the... Nazca painting down there. If you can kind of pay attention, it's the condor. That's where they run the 100 meter dash. And then if you jump to the backside, you actually see sky, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. 
And once we get our crystal balls, you can put them into there if for some reason you're low on inventory space. Just put it in there, that's where they go, so. And I'm gonna go in clockwise order. I don't really think you have to, but eh, that's just the way I've always done it anyway, so. We'll come over here. This part is extremely st ow, straightforward. Straightforward by taking a laser to the face. Wow. I would not have the balls to do that. Come on, buddy. I guess that's the only thing about Psycho Dash. I don't really like to charge it up, but it does make certain enemies much easier. Not that they're hard to begin with, but... You don't have to move that guy. Just stay near the top and then run down. I don't want to go up there. I want to go up here. All right, buddy. I see a door back there. Ah. Excuse me. And this is where you want to start moving stuff. We come back here. We're getting about a decent way into the dungeon. It's time for Free Dan to show up. Actually, right now, I don't think he's going to be that helpful. He'll do a little extra damage, but I think we're still going to be hitting them the same amount of hits to kill them. Initially. It is Free Dan. He will eventually get stronger. And he does have Dark Fryer, too, if you want to utilize that. Free Dan has balls. Excuse me. Oh, now the balls have Free Dan. That's great. Excuse me. Now, the Dark Fryer also works really good against those Golem guys if you happen to be below it. Which I will show you momentarily. Because we actually need to use Dark Fryer to kill that guy over there, so. If you hit him, or try to hit him from the side, you'll probably only hit him once. But if you. Well, I was hoping I'd get him, but. Either way, you'll probably have to shoot two in there. Well, if you hit. If you go from the side, you'll have to shoot three, so. Just a little quick. Ah! A little bit quicker to do it from the top or the bottom. Yeah, at least this area nice and linear so far. Well, this area, I guess, or this, uh... I can't think of the word. This path. That's the word, path. I could not think of a four-letter word. Yeah, that's what happens when you get three hours of sleep, I suppose. Hooray, more strength. I shall Hassan chop you slightly harder. Wow. The backside of the garden. We'll go over here first, take care of some... Oh my, this is going to be bad. Holy Jesus. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Explosions everywhere. Ah, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I shoot a dark fryer over here. Look at that. This did 30 damage. Well, all together, yeah, but... Shut up. Let me have my fun. This is Free Dan. You do not question Free Dan. And I also like how they change the statues, too. I think that's pretty cool. Now it's like a... I don't know, what is that supposed to be? Like a bird-type demon or something like that. On the other side, it's a sphinx, obviously. And here we have crystal ball number two. A four. Let's see if I can get out of here without getting hit again. And keep in mind, after we go through each of the paths, there will be four, obviously, you can hop back in that dark space to have Gaia heal you to full HP anytime you want, so... No shame at all in walking back there and recovering your HP. Plus, this area can be a little bit long, so... Like this whole episode today, we'll be doing this. Which I'm not complaining. I will listen to this drum all day. Well, not this specific drum, but... Hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, leave me to my amusement. Let's hop back over here. And almost there. We are Free Dan. We are the ultimate backtracker. Sadly, sadly, we have backtracking. All right, back to the Sky Garden. And if you somehow forgot where the dark space is, it's up there. Now, this area can get a little bit tricky. Not too tricky, but a little bit tricky. Tricky enough for you, you noob. No, just, just kidding. You're not a noob at all. You are my fiend. Now, oh, what's that do? Oh, okay. Not a whole lot of anything. 
doesn't seem to get around these little posts, though. Well, let's hop over here. We'll see what we can do over here. To the back side of the garden. Whoa! Come over here, we can get our second red jewel of the area, and that... I believe there are only two in here, so... We have all those. Nothing to do over here, except for hit the switch. Whoa! He almost got a pillar up the ass. And we'll jump back to this side, see what the difference is. Anything? Hooray! The path has opened for us. I don't need your stinking stairs. I have free Dan. And there's not really much of a difference in the white balls other than they move slowly. Yeah, that leads back to here. Huh. Oh. Apparently we need to use Will here for a little bit. Unfortunately, Free Dan does not have the Psycho Dash. Let us kill more golems to celebrate anyway. How? Quit it. Oh, there's a treasure chest. How do I get that? We will find out momentarily. First, we must collect a defense. Oh, there's a dark space. Oh, okay, here we go. Maybe something back here. Hmm. Ah, uh, no, that's not gonna do it. You wanna use Dark Fryer right here to hit that? There we are. Take a roundabout back here. And we shall inquire with Gaia within the dark space. No? Alright. Yeah, I actually do wanna return to Will. I do, I do wanna return to Will. Yeah, I might as well heal up while I'm in here. Heal my 2 HP that I lost. Why does Gaia gotta be such a dick? Are you continuing your quest? Yes! Then go! Screw you! Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Huh. Yeah, you wanna run down that first platform. If you don't, it's really easy to walk back around, so... Uh, let's go down here. And then back up here. Hmm. Oh dear. Seems we have a ball of fire in our way. And he's gonna go up here. That's that's nice. Oh, and he would have came right back down, too. Yeah, how about your arms go straight to you? I'd much prefer that. Get him, William. William! Ah! Right, oh boy. Yeah, see, even I get turned around a little bit in here. Ow! Just took a laser in the butt. Hey, buddy. Hey, you didn't even want to shoot your laser. Fine. Ah! Quit it! I will kick you! Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, hello. Yeah, even the sword is a little more erratic this time. No? Huh. Well, he's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure once you're on the back side of the... Ah. Once you're on the back side of the garden, he's supposed to just continuously spin. Whereas the front side, he'll just stab every now and then. We actually want to use Mr. Armor of Doom here to pop that open. And we can now... Yeah, we got all the enemies. Holy Jesus. We got all the enemies out of here now. Uh, there we go. Alright, now we'll hop back to the front side. And once again, we have to kill these. Boom! Alright, now you want to run all the way across. Cleared up the path, and we can come up here and get the crystal ball. Hooray! Three of four. And now I'm going to come back up here and switch to Free Dan. And that will get us ready for next time as we continue through the Sky Garden on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. This is Takamasak. I will see you later.